Hi, and welcome to this episode of Career Pro Tips by Life in the Green Room. Life in the Green Room is all about helping you take your career to the next level. It's for busy professionals who know that there's more out there for them. We provide you action-oriented, tool-based plans to help you drive through your career in the direction that you want to go. My name is Heather Green Micklin, and I'm the Vice President of Marketing at a Fortune 500 company. I've seen these tips and tools I'm gonna share with you work for myself. I've seen them work for my peers and my colleagues. I know when you're intentional about things that you can start moving the needle. Today is episode five, and today we're gonna to talk about, I have a new problem, what do I do? The background on this episode of I've got a new problem is this comes up a lot. I mean, it's one of the reasons we have jobs is to be able to tackle issues. But when it comes up, sometimes you have that issue that you're just not expecting, you're just not planning, you get the phone call, you get the email, you're talking in a meeting and you learn something that's just really bad for the plans that you had. What do you do now? Do you panic? Do you update your resume? Do you look for somebody to blame? Do you go sprinting in your boss's office? What is the best thing that you can do to get yourself back on track? That's what I wanna talk about today. So I thought I would start by sharing a story about myself. In one of my very first jobs out of college, I was in supply chain and I had a big problem with the supplier. I don't remember all of the details, but there was something where they were gonna miss a delivery date that, that would mess up the delivery to another supplier and then there's somewhere in there was gonna be liquidated damages and it was a big mess. And so I'm talking to the supplier on the phone, I'm feverishly taking all the notes I can. I hang up the phone, I go sprinting into my boss's office and I just basically vomit my problem on her desk. And that conversation with her today changed the trajectory of my career. She listened to me and she sat back and she said, what do you wanna do, Heather? And I thought, I have no freaking clue. I ran in here, that's what I wanted to do. Luckily I didn't say that. And so I said, well, I don't know. And she said, go back to your desk, think about it, then come back and we're gonna have a conversation. Wow, so freaking powerful. And that is all wrapped up in the advice that I wanna give you today. What strategy should you take? Really, I want you to think about how you would like to solve the problem. That's the main guts of it. First, I do wanna say to take a moment to assess the risk. 80% of the time, you will have the time to think about the solution and come up with something you'd like to propose. But in that 20%, and you have to make a judgment call, if it is a really burning issue and your boss and your peers need to know before you have time to even hang up the phone, do that. Don't take this blindly. If there is something that's that much of, of that much magnitude and that much impact, tell people right away. And you can do it in a way saying, look, I need to think about how to solve it, but it's important, so I wanted you to know. But okay, first tip, assess the risk. If it's in that 80% bucket, move down to think of a solution. Think through the issue and think about any way you can to solve it. And this, I don't mean take two days, I mean take an hour uh, or whatever's appropriate, but come up with some ideas of how you would like to solve the problem. Then go tell people. And the power of this method is that you can take the panic out of the room. When you say, this happened and it's a big problem, but this is what I think we can do, all of a sudden people can have a level-headed, productive discussion about how to solve the problem and you can go about your way. This will really boost you as somebody who can actually solve problems, which is a big skill to have and really helpful for your company and help you drive results to the bottom line. The third tip I want you to think about a little bit is when you start talking about the solution, what you thought of doesn't matter. Your solution might not be good at all. And the goal of it is to get the discussion started in a productive manner. The counterpoint to that is don't have an ego about your solution. If somebody has one that is faster or cheaper or better for the customer, go with that. You need to remember that your goal is to solve the problem. It is not to be right. And so if you can have a productive discussion and somebody gives you a better idea, run with it. Grab it with both hands, go implement that and say, I will give you an update next week or whenever the time frame is to tell you that we've, come, we've resolved this issue and we're back on track or we're back in business. That's what's gonna make you very powerful for your company. So those are my thoughts on how do you solve a new problem, quickly assess the risk, come up with a solution, have a productive discussion and implement the solution that's gonna be best for your company. I would love to hear from you. What have you done? What tips have you used? And how have they helped you solve some problems? 
If you have any other questions or tips or things you'd like me to talk about, leave me a comment. And if you love getting career pro tips every week, subscribe below so you can hear what we have coming up next. Until next episode, here's to owning your career journey.